In this video, I'm going to show you how to create or to generate a signed APK. So what is an APK? That's just the application package file for your uh, application that you're going to create. And uh, for the, let's say this is the Magic ID application, then we need to create an installer or an executable file that can install on the Android device. So in this case, we call this an APK. An APK, Android package, or just, just a package in short, and we need in order for us to place this APK on the Google Play Store, we need to be able to sign or digitally sign this APK. If it's not a signed APK, you will not be able to place your APK on the Google Play Store. So how do we do that? So you will go to the build menu at the top and you can see there's just normal build APKs if you want to create the APKs. So if you say build APK, you can see that it creates the APKs for you. And you'll get a nice little link here on, on the right hand side indicating that you can go and locate that specific APK. So you can see we can locate it. I can click on it and it will open up that APK for me. But it's a debug APK. So this one you cannot place on the Google Play Store. So this is the executable file. It's an Android package file. You can see there. Uh, let me just make this a bit bigger. But you can see there. This is an Android application package file, the APK file. Okay, so that file is the one that we want to load onto the Google Play Store, but we cannot use this one as app debug. It won't work. So another option to create an APK will be to go to your build and say generate signed APK. So now we're digitally going to sign this APK to load onto the Google Play Store. So we'll just say next here, and then you can see it gives me a key store path. Now the key store is basically just a file that will keep all of your keys for your apps. So you can say create a new one, and you can set the path for your specific. Uh, I'm just going to go to the desktop and say save there, and uh, you can name it. Let's call it key store. And then uh, the password for this thing will be whatever you want there. And you can confirm confirm it. And that's the, the password for your key store. Then for this specific app now, we're going to create a key. And we need to give this key an alias. So you can call it your, your application, basically. So I'm going to call it Magic uh, ID Application. Or something like that. And now for this specific key that you're going to sign with, you need to also give a, a password there. And... Uh, they recommend that the two, the ones that you're using here and the ones that you're using here will be different. So quickly type your passwords there and then you can see there's the validity for this key. How long should it be valid on the Play, on the Play Store? So if you think it should be more than 30 years or 25 years, then you can set the validity. The first and last name, your organization unit, your organization, your city, your state or your province, your country code, whatever. So you can add as many of these fields as you like. Uh, at least indicate one of these in the certificate. Uh, this will be signed with your key. So you, the more values you add here, the more secure that key will be. So you're going to say OK there. And then you can see that the key store path is there. Your password is this. The alias is this. The password is that. You can also say remember the passwords if you like. Say next. And then when you get to this part here, you need to choose between debug and release. So obviously, if you're going to release it to the Google Play Store, it must be release. And then you can just basically choose the, the version 2, full APK signature, say finish, and then it will start building your APK file. Right, and again, it gives you this little pop-up there that says you can locate it. And if you go to locate, you can see it's under the folder release. There's your APK release. And now you can see it's app release. And this is the one now that we can go and place on the Google Play Store. Also, if you look at your... Let's open up... Where's that little window again? Open up the virtual device. I can, I can directly drag in this file into my um, virtual device. So now you can see it says the APK failed to install because I probably have this ID application already on it. So you'll need to remove your debug version of it. 
So that's the one that runs through Android Studio. It's the debug version. And then for the release one, you can then just drag it into the virtual device and it will start installing your APK. And now it's done. You will see that magic application again. And now I'm opening up the signed version of it. So this is the version of the app that we, will gonna, we are going to place on the Google Play Store. Okay, so now if you want to go to the Google Play Store, uh, you'll basically need to go to https play.google.com, apps, publish, and sign up. Okay, so now if you got to sign up to this page, you'll see that there's a few steps that you need to follow. You need to sign in with your Google account. You need to accept the developer agreement and re pay a registration fee, complete your details, and so forth. So you'll see right at the bottom there, it says that you need a credit card and make sure that you have your credit card handy to pay the $25 registration fee in the next step. So in the next step then, I'm not going to do this now, but you will be able to pay your $25 and then you are a developer for life, which is quite good. With iOS, it's $99 per year. So uh, to be an Android developer is not that bad. So you only pay the $25. After the $25 has been paid and you've filled out your details, you will be a developer. And then on that page, you'll be able to add new apps. And somewhere along the line, you will be able to go and upload that APK of yours. It will be very important for you to be able to create your APK file so that you can upload that file to the Google Play Store. So just be reminded that if you lose that key store, uh, that file where we saved it on the desktop, if you lose that file and you've already uploaded your application to the Google Play Store, you will not be able to update that application at all. If it's not signed with the same digital signature, your application will not work on the Google Play Store, which means that you will need to go and create a brand new application and have it signed digitally with another key store and then you will have to upload your app as a brand new app on the google play store even though it could basically be exactly the same app so make sure that when you save it you save it in a safe place and uh, keep that safe for future reference